you framed up. All right, the, the tagline for this is the most generic, asinine, 80s, 90s, on up tagline for every teeny bopper piece of garbage. How do you become the... How do you become the person you're supposed to be when you don't know what that is? How do you become the person you're supposed to be when the only thing you're sure of is what you're not? You could put that on... That's just... If that's all you have going for your 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 teeny bopper, just, just throw it away and start over. Fatties in comics. Ew. Here's a fat, ugly, angry character. How will that help us sell more comics? Comics? Here's the thing, which sounds obvious. They're trying to sell a bad thing and call it good. Obesity is a sign of a problem. Childhood obesity is a sign of a family problem. It's a negative thing. It's very, very similar to substance abuse. But the food is triggering the serotonin and dopamine instead of the actual drug itself. I see obese teacher, uh, teenagers now and um, 20 year olds who are waddling around it's 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 bizarre a world it's like looking at the walking dead miserable people who made themselves miserable i went to i went shopping the other night uh late at night two guys walk in one of them is a sphere and uh he walks in and there's like a cart a, a scooter thing at the front of the store i never noticed these things before i, I assume they're for the elderly right this guy walks in there, hops on the scooter, and starts driving around like the dude was 25 years old. And he was, I don't know, he was short, so he was probably like 300 pounds. I was like, are you kidding me? What the hell are you doing here? So I'm walking through the aisles, and the store's empty, and there's two other ladies there, two other girls who were in their 20s, early 20s. One of them was like also 300 pounds, and she was 20 years old. I'm like, what are you, what's going on? What is happening? What is happening? Um, I don't know. Anyway, these people are voluntarily, like, handicapping themselves. Dear parents, stop overfeeding your kids. They don't need soda, cookies, or chips, or fast food, ever. Start with beans, rice, and vegetables. That is your base. High fructose corn syrup is poison. Is this, in this Starfire abomination, she's not like 1% or 2% over fat. She is morbidly obese. In terms of storytelling, sales, or this peak clown world, Weimar shithole, 1984, America, none of this works. They're trying to sell a dysfunctional family at $17 a pop. But um, they, there is like sexy dysfunctional and just gross and disgusting dysfunctional. If the story was about a girl who was like five pounds overweight, it would be one thing. She can have a redemption arc and she starts eating less and learning about the magic of vegetables. Spinach, spinach really is a superfood. Uh, she gets rid of her video games and she starts walking and reading the classics. She sort of aligns her chakras, has a come-to-Jesus moment, a return to source rebirth. She decides that looking like a potato person isn't good and gets a hard body. Comics and the left in general openly wallow in mental illness and self-destruction. The shot of Starfire and her kid, um, Mandy. The comics list her as about 6'4", so in reference, Mandy's about 5'4". And built like you took a Barbie doll and squashed it to half its height. She is disgusting, and she's only like 18 years old. I went and read a few of the 1976 and the 2015 stories. They both went for like a dozen issues. It's a light, fluffy, funny character. It's definitely a sidekick or part of a team character. And it must be a lot of fun to write. But ultimately, female leads are only good for limited stories because males get tired of them. So now you take all the fun, beautiful energy of Starfire and you throw it away and replace it with fat, ugly, bitter, dark, evil energy. A cliche, angry, obese teenager who is sitting on Twitter and constantly eating. Gee, you're a fat, miserable person angry at the universe. Have you considered eating less and maybe reading a book? SCWs want everyone to be as miserable as they are. They probably hate Starfire. A beautiful woman running around having fun. They're like the Daleks. They just can't accept it. Dear fatties, may I introduce you to the concept of take what you're eating now and simply eating less of it. You will save money. You'll feel better and the fat will just start melting away. Honestly, I think we need to bring back fat shaming. Maybe we can use billboards. One panel shows a bunch of ham beasts inside playing video games, twittering and baiting. The other shows lean, healthy people playing soccer or jogging. It could be a fitties versus fatties campaign. 
The thing I don't get about the left-wing embrace of obesity is it flies in the face of environmentalism. The carbon footprint and pollution caused by a fatty is enormous. All the extra food, packaging, and shipping that goes to feed them, even the, the amount of fabric that goes to cover their massive bodies, then the extra water it takes to clean the clothes. Look at a shirt for a 115-pound woman versus a 215-pound woman. It's a huge waste of fabric. Every time that they drive, the car has to burn a gram more petroleum to haul their mass around. Multiply that by how many morbidly obese uh, people there are, and it's like an ocean of oil and a mountain of carbon, simply so these whale-human hybrids can get their dopamine from food. There was an Antifa protest at a spa, I think in San Francisco. The Antifa kids were basically sphere-shaped potato women. They were all five foot four and over 200 pounds. They were waddling around, outraged at some whatever nonsense of the day. They call each other comrade, and they talk about the proletariat and seizing the means of this and that. The thing is, these obese Antifa kids are too fat to actually do anything. They're too fat to work in agriculture or do physical labor of any sort. They wouldn't even be safe on a ladder. So if they magically get a state to run, how are they going to actually do anything that requires healthy, functioning bodies? Okay, Antifa kids, today we're going to repair a roof in the summer in Nevada. I think when they envision themselves in power that they're going to be the ones giving orders and worker bees will just sort of magically show up. I'm not really getting distracted. Not Starfire is basically Antifa the comic. The character is 50 pounds overweight. No wonder she is miserable. She's a teenager who is eating herself to death. But to mention it is a hate crime. Obesity isn't stunning and brave, it's just gross. She's drawn like a potato-human hybrid. She can't play sports, go running in the hills, go hiking, or go on long walks. She's 18 and sort of trapped in a cage that she builds every day out of butter. Why would someone want to read her story? Fat people are everywhere, they're not special. <laughs> we, myself included, we can probably all look in a mirror, but a, a, a fat 18-year-old is very, very tragic. Um, fat people are as common as dirt. You can't make a fatty special. They tried with, what was that comic, Faith? Good luck with that. You have a character that is going to be miserable her whole life until she dies of a heart attack at 50. Why the heck would you sell this to young girls? You created a character that is never going to get married or have kids. She's never going to fully take part in life. Jogging in the hills, that is a part of life. She literally can't do that because she's too damn fat. Mariko Tamaki has created a negative thing and is trying to sell it. She wants money from, for this, probably from, I don't know, female teenagers. Young women don't want to read about an obese teenager who is gross. They want to read about the beautiful mom. Mariko is selling this for $17. If you look at her, she's also a potato woman, sorry if you like her writing, who eats a lot and doesn't move. Mandy is her self-insert. I can't, for the life of me, imagine this selling well. Fat girls don't want to embrace their grossness. They want to be thin girls. This comic comes... And when people draw this, um, little fan drawings of this, they draw her as thin and willowy and goth. Uh, they literally cut the character in half. Because nobody wants to draw a fat girl. She's drawing a... Like, what is she? Just, just like a potato legs? It's just, it's just gross. Oh, God, it's gross. Um... So this comes out in a month, an obese goth girl, the little potato girl who tweets from her $300 cell phone about capitalism. I always ask them if they think it's time to try national socialism, which I'm all on board with, but they just start spurging out. You have to face a harsh reality. Obesity is bad. An obese 18-year-old is very bad. To start reducing obesity rates, we have to talk about it. Yes, there will be some hurt feelings, but you'll be saving them a lifetime of misery. As a society, we don't embrace crack or heroin, smoking or alcoholism. Why on earth would we promote obesity to people? The girl is obese because her parents are overfeeding her. One of the scenes is Starfire feeding her Chinese food. American Chinese food in restaurants is poison. Real Chinese food is 90% rice and vegetables. So the scene is essentially of an abusive mother. You can't have a morbidly obese character and try to sell it unless the storyline is her eating less and turning her life around. I suspect that that is not the storyline, because being healthy is what the Nazis wanted. Only chads eat right and exercise. 
Everything they don't want to do supports the patriarchy, which makes it sound like the patriarchy is really awesome. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode.